Give me nux, Axel. Give me nux. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be working on the adventure bus yet again. I'm getting attacked by my cat. Um, before we go work on the adventure bus, though, we are going to go look at the new shop. Check it out. See if we want it. See if we want to sign on and move. <laughs> we also got our custom mattress in for the bunk bed. Um, note to self, don't buy custom mattresses off Amazon. This thing was 300 bucks, and it's literally just a block of store foam with this crappy nylon sheet over it. <laughs> I literally could have just bought a block of foam from the craft store for like, I don't know, not $300. But whatever, we have a mattress for the uh, top bunk of the uh, bus now, so that's good. Now, obviously, I'm not bringing my big camera in there. I'll be rude, so, uh, cue the Snapchat videos. The shop looks awesome. It's, as you can tell, so much nicer. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, square footage-wise, it's the same, but the office takes up more space, so. Um, definitely nice. I think I think we're interested. They won't hold it for us though, so I'm gonna try to get out of my lease for the other shop So we can get this one like right away. It has walls and it has floors. There's not holes in the walls It's so nice. So yeah, I think that's that's definitely a, a winner if we can get it Baby, please play it. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, that is really comfortable. It's perfect. Like, it doesn't stick out too far or anything. It really, like, it really works perfectly. Nice. So today we are going to be installing trim along the top of the wall that covers all the layers of the wall so moisture doesn't get behind the wall. And it will provide a nice little, like, what do you, what do you call that? A little... Like a little windowsill? Windowsill, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do that. Audrey has been painting this gray. I've been in the bus getting the walls ready for their their trim windowsill thing. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but uh, this was not even. Pretty much, the wall is made up of the metal from the bus, the wood framing, plywood, and then the vinyl wood planks. None of that was even, so what I was going to do is sand it all down until it was even. Turns out that was gonna take way too long and create way too much dust, so I just got a a jigsaw and just kind of cut it flush. It's not perfectly even, but that's fine because it's going to be covered by the trim and then another trim piece underneath, so you won't be able to tell it's not even because, well, we'll see. But now what I'm going to do is put the trim up, mark where I need to cut out these little squares, and then we're golden. Let's see how it fits. That's like literally 
Perfect. So that's awesome. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, glue that down. Oh, that looks so much better. just suddenly got to looking like a hundred times better. It looks so much more finished and nice. All the uh, gaps in between the window and the trim, pretty good. We're gonna caulk them up eventually, but I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. And there we are. So the window trim is on along the entire bus. It's looking real good. It just makes it look so much more finished. I really like it. It needs some sanding, needs some some urethaning, some waterproofing, but the, after that, it's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the dresser right there. Let's go ahead and clarify that this futon is really temporary. It's ugly, it takes up too much space, it's really gray. Like that's, that's it, it's just gray. We're just keeping it here for the trip down to uh, Texas because I don't feel like building the table quite yet and uh, we want something comfortable to lay on and sit on and something to take up the space. And it actually does fit decently well, like there's still enough to walk right here and you come here and it's the desk, and it's the, the the dresser. It's like, you know, you place where you get changed, place where you can get off the bed, and then the bed will be right here, so. This is a good temporary setup. So, in terms of like, actual furniture, this is pretty much it. At least for the Dallas trip, the Dallas, Houston, Texas trip, this is, this is how it's gonna stay. There's definitely some things we have to finish up. Um, the electrical system, some more, uh, wood treatment. We're gonna put wood planks on that back wall and this front wall. We're gonna put a TV up here I measured we can fit a 50 inch TV. So we're gonna get like a awesome 50 inch TV, but I really I, I'm so happy with this layout. It's really perfect. You come inside the door We're gonna make a little like shoe thing right here. You, you know take off your dirty shoes You got this nice little walkway with your kitchen counter and all your, your cabinets and your drawers. And then you come over here, you can hop in the bed, take a little nap, you can edit, you can hop into your clothes, you can get a nice little change. You can sit down on the futon and play. 
video games from the TV that will eventually be up there. Um, it, it's just a sick setup. The next thing I'm planning on doing is curtains. We're gonna put some curtains in here because as you can tell, there's literally zero privacy and that was the number one thing that sucked about going down to Georgia. When we went down to Georgia, we just had a futon in here. It was completely empty and all the windows were open so people could just watch us sleep. It was weird. So we're gonna put some curtains all along the bus. It's gonna look good, I promise. I know a lot of you guys are like, why don't you just tint the windows? Well, number one, tinting can only do so much. Unless if I did like double layer limo tint, you could still see inside when there was lights on in here. Uh, number two, that would be illegal. Number three, I wouldn't be able to see when I'm driving, so. Curtains will block out light, block out people. It'll be legal, because I can open them while I'm driving, and I can seek out, because I can open them while I'm driving. It's really the best idea. They're also cheap and easy to install, you'll see. So, that's gonna look really awesome, and then after that, the electrical system, the TV, some wood planks. I, th I think that's pretty much it. And then we're ready to go down to Dallas, and Houston. It's gonna be awesome, which is pretty certain on happening. It's gonna happen sometime early February. Uh, we're gonna have a meetup in Dallas, probably with Evan Shanks. I don't know exactly, um, but we'll see. Just, I'm really happy with the way everything is turning out. Definitely needs some finishing, but uh, it looks good. Now, today is Audrey's birthday, and tomorrow is my birthday. Uh, we're both turning 20, which is pretty cool, pretty crazy. Because of that, we are doing a lot of things with our family and our friends, and we're just kind of relaxing, so I might miss a couple of videos, and I do apologize, but I think you guys understand. Let me know what you guys think about this, uh, everything. The dresser and the futon, which we did, the finishing of the windows and stuff. I'm really happy with it, and it means that we're getting pretty much done with this bus, at least for now which I'm sure you guys are probably happy about. We've had a lot of bus videos, which I do apologize for. All these other YouTubers are out, you know, doing the half mile, the YouTube call out, I'm here, building furniture, cutting wood, painting things. Yeah, but whatever. If you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, please, please give it a dislike. Let me know how I can improve. Uh, another thing I do want to do with the bus is go get it weighed again, because uh, we weighed it when there was nothing in here, and I want to get it weighed again when there's everything in here. A lot of people are like, you made it way too heavy, it's gonna drive like crap now. Keep in mind that there were 12 seats, 12 metal seats that weighed about 50 pounds each, and there could be up to 30 kids in here. That's a couple thousand pounds, so I'm sure we'll be fine. It'll, it'll be perfectly fine, and with you know a little bit more boost, it'll feel no different. So keep that in mind. But uh, yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.